guys, Jessica Henry here. Just wanted to welcome you today to my YouTube channel. I have some pretty exciting things I wanted to talk to you about today. Um, good to see you. I'm happy to be here. I don't go live on YouTube very often, but um, it's kind of fun. And I have some kind of exciting news. So um, if you've been following me, you'll know that I am producing and promoting uh, a new video. And the video, it's for sale. It's one of those um, on our website, Renaissance Creative Arts. Uh, that one is called Painting the Still Life. And I, I thought, you know, it might be kind of fun and interesting to show you guys today a little bit about what, um, hi guys, a little bit about what uh, goes on and with our, especially what we offer with our videos. I always offer a workbook. The workbooks, um, I call them workbooks, but they're more like 60 pages of comprehensive awesome art education. Um, so what I have here today, I wanted to show you, they're, they're all downloadable really, which is, um, I, we think it's a better situation because you can get them all over the world. And these really, we are now um, selling these videos uh, in eight different countries all over. It's very exciting. So anyway, I wanted to show you today about painting the still life. I, I showed a video, um, I think last week on my YouTube channel about uh, the still life and I showed it and I thought, well, gosh, maybe it looks a little bit complicated. So I wanted to today go on and talk about it's it's not and I um, in my book here I take you step by step this video that we are offering for sale is um, it, it's we have a special and as of this Friday after Friday the price the pre-release price it goes up um, after Friday so you have four days left to get the cheaper price if you're interested in it and they always come with these books and Renaissance Creative Arts is an awesome company we always throw in free videos and things with <clears throat> our videos so with this video and workbook you also get <clears throat> excuse me three other offers so check us out I'm gonna put a link here down below as soon as I'm done with this uh, video and you'll have a lot more information on it but I wanted to show you this book so taking you over this way I'm gonna hope that there's not a glare on it and since we are in selfie mode it's backwards but um, I think it's backwards all right so anyway the way that we would work these out is that since they're all downloadable I begin with the whole book on my computer so this is painting the still life that I call La Vion Rose and I take you step by step through 10 steps throughout the painting um, here's the painting and I begin with a visual concept an idea just a basic challenge yeah where to go with it um, thank you Christine <laughs> good to see you guys so anyway um, this is I start with the theoretical com concept nothing very complicated I just talk about why we do the paintings for what reason and then um, I move into step one selecting your still life objects finding that inspiration step two uh, I create an environment so I tell you how to create an environment out of your home and these are just really important things like setting off um, using uh, a dark fabric on the walls setting you can even put it in a cardboard box or setting up lighting things like that important stuff then I talk about setting up the actual arrangement how to do that questions to ask yourself uh, while you're setting it up and then I go into creating the composition fine-tuning some of those details um, what is the concept keeping that in the front of your mind in my case in this painting I wanted to create a story about drama and uh, so I set this up with this rich uh, fabric a lot of silks the wine the roses the cheese and then the dramatic lighting with the really dark background and the strong light all right so once I get the still life all set up I start getting ready to paint and so taking you through step by step in the book this is step number five preparing to paint getting your palette ready what colors I use brushes um, and I show some of that in the video too step six you can get everything ready in your studio but if you don't have um, if you don't have your mind ready to paint I'll get in there a little bit um, then it's a lot more challenging so this step of the book is called getting your mind ready to paint preparing your mind and so I start that with a thumbnail sketch and I talk about no tan what that is and why that matters and then I ta start talking about um, toning your canvas why we tone the canvas and for what reason and then this part over here I find is very important this is uh, all about beginning a painting and I always say if you to begin a painting is the most important part. If you can't begin it, the rest of it is going to be a challenge. So uh, I go into, especially in the video, a lot more detail, but here I talk about how to establish your original composition onto the canvas. 
and how to work out the values. So then I go into a whole section here. If you're just joining us, this is the book of the newest video that we're releasing through Renaissance Creative Arts. And I wanted to show you, it's about 60 pages, so hang in there. I won't go through all of them. <laughs> so we're gonna talk about values then in the book and what that means and how to work values in your favor to create a, a nice composition and a flow and um, different challenges that I worked out based on the values. All right, then I get into step eight, which is the actual doing the painting, painting the whole thing, massing in the colors. I go into conceptual ideas as well as the steps and how-tos. Um, so I have uh, painting the peaches and, and so forth. One thing that I'm adding here as a feature, if you're familiar with any of our books and videos, if you've already bought them, it's, this is a brand new feature. I get a lot of questions, um, you know, can you show us more on how to mix colors and other people comment that that's their favorite part, is that their biggest challenge is in how to mix colors. So I wanted to show that in here as a new feature. Palette talk is what we're calling it. So these little um, off-color ovals or rectangles down here. Anytime you see one of these squares in our videos or workbooks, and I don't mean the YouTube videos. These are, these the videos that I do here on YouTube are, are just kind of more the freebies and fun stuff and and so forth. The videos that I sell through Renaissance Creative Arts are much more detailed and they, they're just, um, they're longer and they come with the workbooks and so forth. So when I have these little videos or pictures like this, what I have here is a picture where I'm mixing the colors, then I have a photograph of, oops, of the actual still life and then the painting and how I mixed those colors to get those effects. And so that's what I, sh that's what I call palette talk here in the painting. So this is how to mix that peach color and what I used. All right, so then I scroll through and I'm talking about, of course, massing in colors. And then I talk about these, these things here about what is most important to really be focusing on in your painting. And in this, it's, I'm, I'm talking about how does light move across an area in the object and um, do you love the color? What is the object? What is the feeling you get? And so on and so forth. So those are really important, these, these sections that are in bold. Love those sections, they're, they're good, 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 good. All right, then I get into, even though this is still talking about the painting, the actual painting process, I get into talking about brushwork and how to make that work for you. Um, and also in painting backgrounds, how to make backgrounds that are airy and, and have life and energy, but keeping still quiet and doing the function of a background, which is to support the objects in the foreground. Um, and then, there's a lot of talk about edges, and I want to really just break it down and address it in here. And when um, the edges can cause a lot of confusion, and if you don't, if you start making every edge sharp and defined, which can happen when we focus on things, then it starts to look cut out. So I really wanted to just address that in the video here. And I take as an example um, the roses in the painting, and so I break it down into just step by step where I, how I began, the color massing, sculpting them out of the background, and then finishing out with uh, what I did to lose edges and push edges back and, and pull things forward and so forth. Then I get into a little bit of palette talk on mixing the roses and how to really push those the soft petals and the sculpture of a rose, sort of that anatomy. And then um, so again, still talking about the edges up here, but then I talk about creating a visual direction for the eye flow. Even, even while going through conceptual ideas in the book here, I'm also talking about um, how to paint different things. So in this context here, I'm talking about how to paint the wine glass and also using the platform of talking about using edges to guide the eye through the painting. So that's what I have here too. The stems, the, um, in the vase of water. I, I wish I could show on YouTube here pictures down below, but I, I, I guess you can't. Um, but in my last video, if you go on my own uh, YouTube page, you'll see the painting itself. And there's a vase of flowers. It's really just this big glass bulbous bowl. And so the stems inside that vase were helpful to help guide the eye through the painting. And so those are things that I focused on in this part. And then I talk about painting fabric. In the still life here, there were a lot of, um, there's this beautiful, um, luscious silk. And so I was really excited to paint that. And um, I talk about painting fabric, which is a very difficult challenge for a lot of people. Hi, good to see you guys out there. 
so painting silk and fabric um, and then embroidery and how to do that so without making it overbearing and um, that's what I'm addressing in this picture here too just showing how in, especially at the end um, well I'll get there <laughs> getting ahead of myself all right so then later on here I talk about painting books and um, how to paint books and just to really capture that dusty look on them and um, this part here I thought was really important to me it was um, on painting the mundane and I know it sounds kind of boring but in it um, as I was writing this I just I felt so much coming out of my heart about um, painting is like life and like cakes there's so much that is uh, quiet and is important to just be kept muted and in the background so that's that's I don't want to ruin it because I really do think that um, you guys would enjoy this part of the book um, so if you're just joining us I'm talking about today here our newest video that we're producing through Renaissance Creative Arts I just it's going to be released this Friday it's painting the still life and um, this is the book all of our videos that we offer through the Renaissance Creative Arts come with a book and so I thought the painting itself kind of looks really complicated and I thought it'd be good to show you guys it's not it's not that complicated and I can show you how to do it step by step 10 easy steps all right so getting back to this step 9 in the book here is assess and correct and I made three significant errors throughout the course of this painting that I break down into why they were wrong and how I fixed them and so I also talk about just the a, a foolproof method that I've had in um, doing that final check for your painting and also um, how to just fix those and know when you're done. A lot of people ask me, and I say, how, do, how do I know? I always keep picking at things and so here in the book I talk about it. I actually talk about it in a lot of videos but um, so it's here for you. Step 10, fine tuning the details and right here is where I talk about um, how I fix the peach and roses and the silk. Clay, you're asking how can you can you buy it on Amazon? Great question. We have an Amazon account. Um, we just have to get the product on there. So these will be, all of our videos will be available soon on Amazon. Thank you for asking that. Um, but for now, I'm going to put a link down below if you want to um, peruse that. As soon as I'm done with this video, I will add all those links and things. All right, so um, how to know when you're done? Signing it. And then I think that this part is really cool in the videos that we offer. I have all of like, okay, so what I just showed you is about 33 pages. Down below here now is about another 30 pages. And these are consistent in pretty much all of our books that we offer uh, because some people buy them individually. But we are also eventually going to take all of these books and put them into one comprehensive thick book, all art stuff. So stay tuned for that. All right, so I, I um, have... I don't hear a lot of people use the phrase classical impressionism. Um, in fact, when I started using it, I, I, hadn't, I didn't know of anybody who was using it. And so I talk about what that means and how in my world I combined both uh, my classical training background with a loose impressionistic approach. And so I talk about what that means here and what that looks like. So that's down below. And I try to keep it fun and interesting, not boring. Sounds boring, but it's not. Um, and then I get into plein air, a plein air perspective. And so in here, I talk mostly about what it is that inspires, personally me, to get out and plein air paint. And I think that these are objects and lessons that you can take into anything that you paint, whether it's in the stu studio or, or outdoors or animals, whatever, um, because the ideas are the same and it's, it's just, it's very inspiring. So that's that. And um, plein air essentials. These are materials that are applicable for still life or for um, plein air painting, but you can also use all of these in the studio. I talk about caring for your materials, take, caring for your brushes and your palettes, um, things you need for just one or two hour painting sessions outside, and then um, yeah, I have all, all these pictures and so forth. And then I have things for longer sessions, three hours or more, objects and things that you'd need for plein air painting. And all day outings, you know, <laughs> plein air, um, clothes, you know, compass, things like that, depending on where you're going. And then this part here in the book, all of our books have the glossary of terms. And this is, I just find um, it's very valuable for anybody in any part of their journey. It's 11 pages of 
terms that I have, in case you don't know a little bit of background on me, I've been studying art for nearly 30 years and painting that long, and um, I have made it my lifetime ambition to write a book. So I've been collecting notes and thoughts and ideas for all that time. And so what I've put together here is all of my books and writings are from those years and current thoughts and ideas and things. So um, these are definitions. They're not Webster's definitions, but they're from me and my heart. And, you know, things, complementary colors, composition, um, backgrounds, balance, feeling, focal point, um, representational, just whatever phrases you might hear. Sometimes uh, we hear something and we maybe are a little too shy to ask, what do you mean by this or whatever? And so here we go. <laughs> we have it all right here. And um, so these are, this is just really, um, that's it, that's it for the book. I just wanted to show you an inside look, behind the scenes look of what we are doing here at Renaissance Creative Arts and what we're offering in our newest video. This is the painting the still life workbook here that I just showed you. So I will put a link down below where you can find out more information on not just this video that we're just releasing here on Friday, but also um, on everything that we're doing with Renaissance Creative Arts and all of our videos. It's very exciting. All right, four days left to get a lower price. Uh, the book and the video right now with the three extra um, offers that were gifts that we're giving with the video is only $97. So that's a huge deal. Um, and I, after the 23rd, it goes up to 127. So for $97, you get the hour and a half long video, 60 page book. <laughs> and um, thank you, Clay, good to see you. Uh, so you get that, and then you also get another Painting the Tuscan Still Life video with the workbook. And um, thanks, Tom. I'll put a link down here. Um, and you get uh, oil painting materials, plus you get 20% off your six first sessions of the Online Art Academy, which we're going to be getting up and running today. Or not today. Soon, 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 soon. <laughs> and that'll be very exciting. So a uh, lot to look forward to. Uh, sign in for our email newsletter on um, our website if you want to get more information on Renaissance Creative Arts. All right. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful first day of spring, and it's all about new life. All right. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.